the development team creates products in any organization, and the operation team manages and maintains those products. DevOps is the collaboration of development and operations teams that allows for the continuous delivery of apps and services to end users. DevOps has been a buzzword for over two decades, and its popularity is skyrocketing. However, there are several concerns about being a DevOps engineer. So, today we'll talk about how to become a DevOps engineer. Hi, my name is Eric from Invensys Learning, and I'd like to welcome you to our YouTube channel. Here's the agenda. We will begin with an introduction to DevOps, and why we need it. Then go on to, who is a DevOps engineer? Followed by, how to become a DevOps engineer. After that, we will talk about the career path, and then look at the DevOps engineer skills. Finally, we will look at how to get started. That sounds interesting. Right? So, let us begin. Now, we will discuss why we need to learn DevOps. And what is DevOps? As we discussed in our introduction, the development team creates the product, which is then maintained by the operations team. This implies that when the development team is finished with the product, it instantly moves to the maintenance and management stages and is distributed to end users with minimal delay. So, DevOps is a culture used for integrating the teams and resolving conflicts among them. DevOps has grown in popularity over the last four to five years, and businesses are eager to incorporate it into their corporate culture in order to obtain a better knowledge of development and operations working together to optimize IT services and significantly improve quality. According to industry analysts, DevOps is an extension of Agile, and those who work with Agile will find it easy to work with DevOps. This is all about DevOps, now we will see some salary trends and job openings. Now, we will see salaries around the globe and these are converted with respect to USD. The average wage in India is $10,000. In China, the average salary is $52,000. The average salary in the United Kingdom is $56,000. Canada's average wage is $84,000. The average salary in Australia is $100,000. The average salary in the United States is $115,000. These are the salary trends of DevOps engineers, now, we will see the job openings. Till now, we have seen various salary trends, now we will see about the job openings and DevOps roles. In 2021, job openings in United States are 46,000 and job openings in India are around 15,000, DevOps is a good career opportunity. Now we have seen the stats of job openings and their salaries, now, we will try to understand, who is a DevOps engineer? It is important to become familiar with the position before learning how to become a DevOps engineer. A DevOps engineer is an IT professional who is well-versed in the software development lifecycle. They must understand why the company was asked to adapt from one model to another, the limitations of the prior model, and the advantages of the new model. DevOps engineer works closely with development and operations team and automates the process. A DevOps engineer's work is important to the entire success of the project, from planning to supporting core KPIs such as customer happiness and productivity. A DevOps engineer is responsible for integrating project functions and resources across the product life cycle, from planning through developing, testing, and deployment, and finally, support. Now, after going through the roles and duties, we have a better understanding of the key KPI, which is in charge of ensuring that the project is integrated without conflict and that its quality is maintained. The major features are automation, reliability, and fast delivery. This is the overview of the DevOps engineer role. Now we will discuss how to become a DevOps engineer. How to become a DevOps engineer? It means that developers who design software have typically had incentives that are profoundly different from operations, people who run the software. For example, as a developer, I want to add as many new features as quickly as possible. However, if I'm an operations guy, I want as few new features as possible since each new feature represents a change, and change is risky. DevOps was developed as a result of this mismatch of objectives. The skills required for the DevOps engineer role are Planning Building Testing Continuous integration and deployment Monitoring Now, we will see the skills individually and tools used. Before going to the skills, we will see few tools used in DevOps. Git, Docker, Jenkins, Ansible, Nagios, Puppet, Kubernetes. Now, we will understand the skills. Planning. Unlike software models, which begin with plan and design, the DevOps lifecycle begins with development. So you'll be managing the code here in the planning stage. Version control is a critical ability during this planning phase. To manage code from various developers, version control is utilized. So, in order to develop the abilities of planning, 
Work with tools such as Git and Bitbucket. Building. Now, in software development, after the code is ready, it should be developed using environments such as operating systems, web servers, and API. In simple words, this phase is in charge of converting code into a usable software application. So, to develop the abilities of building, work with the tools like Docker, which helps in container orchestration. Testing. Now, after the building phase, the development goes to the testing phase, where the testing will be done by the operations team. However, as a DevOps engineer, you do not need to learn about the entire testing, but it is advisable to grasp the basics of testing so that you can provide a business solution to conflicts that arise when testing. To master this phase, you must first understand frameworks such as Selenium, Unit Testing, and TestNG. Continuous Integration and Deployment After testing is completed, the product is ready for deployment, and DevOps plays a critical role in this by leveraging automation. Deploying the application makes the project available to the end user, and integration is a vital part where modifications are consolidated in real time. Integration is also known as the DevOps heart. Integration requires scripting abilities. To master the deployment process, you must first understand the tools, such as Jenkins, as well as your scripting skills. Monitoring. Once the application is deployed and available to end users, the maintenance phase begins, during which the software is regularly monitored and provides feedback with the development team in order to maintain the application in terms of availability and scaling. You will need to be familiar with tools such as Nagios and Kubernetes for clustering. Till now, these are the core skills that are required to become a DevOps engineer. Now, we will see the career roadmap for DevOps engineers. DevOps Career Roadmap To become a DevOps engineer you need to start by learning skills. Linux Fundamentals Knowledge on DevOps tools Cloud computing skills Scripting Since the DevOps tools use programming languages like JavaScript, Ruby and Python used for automation, so it is advisable to start one of the programming languages along with Linux Fundamentals. For DevOps engineer it is mandatory to have knowledge on Linux fundamentals. Then start with the source code management. Roadmap starts with DevOps tools here inside these tools starts with source code and followed by the application building, deployment, testing, automating and monitoring. As shown in the infograph these are the skills required to learn in the following order to achieve success. Now, we will see the companies offering various DevOps roles based on the experience they are, junior DevOps engineer, with less than two years experience. DevOps engineer, for this role, system admins with less than 4 years of experience are suitable. Senior DevOps engineer, for this role, project managers with 4 plus years of experience are suitable. Now we will see various companies offering DevOps roles. Salesforce, roles offered by Salesforce are DevOps engineer and senior DevOps engineer salaries are as follows. DevOps engineer salary, 2,036,000 INR. Senior DevOps engineer salary, 3,274,000 3,274,000 INR. Oracle, roles offered by Oracle are DevOps Engineer, Senior DevOps Engineer, Principal DevOps Engineer. Salaries are as follows, DevOps Engineer, $115,000, Senior DevOps Engineer, $133,000, Principal DevOps Engineer, $149,000. Amazon, roles offered by Amazon are DevOps Engineer, DevOps Consultant, Senior DevOps Engineer. Salaries are as follows, DevOps Engineer, $114,000, DevOps Consultant, $154,000, Senior DevOps Engineer, $163,000. IBM, roles offered by IBM are DevOps Engineer, DevOps Consultant, Senior DevOps Engineer. Salaries are as follows. Dev, Ops Engineer Salary, 620000 INR, DevOps Consultant Salary, 900000 INR, Senior DevOps Engineer, 994,000 INR. TCS, roles offered by TCS are Junior DevOps Engineer, DevOps Engineer, Senior DevOps Engineer. Salaries are as follows. Junior DevOps Engineer Salary, 620,000 INR. DevOps Engineer Salary, 720,000 INR. Senior DevOps Engineer Salary, 800,000 INR. SAP, roles offered by SAP are Associate DevOps Engineer. DevOps Engineer, and Senior DevOps Engineer. Salaries are as follows. Associate DevOps Engineer Salary, 990,000 INR. DevOps Engineer Salary, 1,387,000 INR. Senior DevOps Engineer Salary, 2,500,000 INR. 
Till now, we have seen the companies and their roles, now, we will start with DevOps engineer skills. There are three major engineer skills required to become a DevOps engineer, those are, Linux fundamentals, knowledge on DevOps tools, cloud computing. For DevOps engineer it is mandatory to have knowledge on Linux fundamentals. As major companies working with Linux for more reliability. As the companies are using Linux as their operating system for the application it plays an important role in DevOps career, now we will see other skills, DevOps methodology is used for automation with the help of different tools, so it is mandatory to have a skill in DevOps tools. Important DevOps tools to learn for DevOps role are, Git, Docker, Jenkins, Kubernetes, Ansible, Puppet, Chef, Nagios, Terraform. For more videos on DevOps tools, check out our YouTube channel. Cloud Computing Skills Cloud computing simplifies DevOps implementation by empowering each stage of the development life cycle. Because of kernels and virtualization, applications may be written and tested on a variety of settings in the cloud at any time. The elimination of the need for physical machine tests saves time while also lowering costs due to the on-demand nature of cloud technology. As cloud computing gets more popular, more organizations are competing for your business, and alternatives increase as prices decrease. There are currently a variety of solutions available, each with its own set of benefits and drawbacks, so do your research before making the switch to the cloud. Adopting any new technology necessitates careful planning. Skills required in cloud computing to meet industry standards are as follows. Scripting. Computing. Scalability. Load balancing. Infrastructure as a code. Configuration management. AWS operations. Along with these three skills, it is advisable to have knowledge on at least one programming language. Since the DevOps tools use programming languages like JavaScript, Ruby and Python used for automation, so it is advisable to start one of the programming languages along with Linux fundamentals. Till now, we have seen the engineering skills required for DevOps roles. Now we will see how to get started. Confused about where to start? Don't worry. Here are the major things to start with. Training. Hands in practice. Certifications. Training and hands in practice. Organizations are rapidly adopting and deploying DevOps at the moment. Every company wants to improve creativity, deploy software faster, have more stable operating environments, and have employee teams that are performance-driven. DevOps assists them in accomplishing this. DevOps Master is an expert-level course designed for professionals seeking a thorough understanding of the DevOps technique by Invensys. Certifications. The future is a lot complicated to get a job in DevOps for freshers, and a DevOps certification will stand you out of the crowd. If you aspire to become a certified DevOps professional, start your preparation with the DevOps certifications training courses. The certifications are separated into three groups based on experience, beginners, those with less than two years of experience, and professionals with three or more years of expertise. Foundation Certification in Dev. Ops. This certification is intended for beginners interested in pursuing a career in Dev. Ops. DevOps Master Certification. This certification is appropriate for individuals with one to two years of experience in the IT industry. DevOps Professional Certification. This certification is intended for experienced individuals with hands-on expertise. Certifications will only be valid if there is a governing authority, so please allow me to present a brief overview of the certificate providers. DevOps Institute and Exxon are the certificate providers which is accepted widely in organizations. For further information on certifications refer to exxon.com devopsinstitute.com Invensys learning.com Whether you want to learn how to become a DevOps engineer or pursue another career path in DevOps, the future seems promising. Consider becoming certified in this profession. We recommend getting certified through approved education partners such as Invensys. For more information, see the link provided in the description. I hope this helps you better understand how to become a DevOps engineer. For regular updates, subscribe to our channel.